difference. Let's solve for the value of x. First, note that a over m raised to the power of n is equal to a to the power of n divided by m to the power of n. All right? So that simply means that we can write this as 1 to the power of x divided by 3 to the power of x is equal to x plus 4. Now, note that 1 to the power of n is still equal to 1. Because, for example, 1 to the power of 1 million will still give you 1. Therefore, we are supposed to write this as 1 divided by 3 to the power of x is equal to x plus 4. Now, let us cross multiply. Because this sentence as x plus 4 divided by 1. So, if we cross multiply, you have that 1 is equal to... Or well, let me write this first. We have that x plus 4 multiplied by 3 to the power of x is equal to 1. Now, I want us to note or remember this wonderful function, the lambda w function. Now, this function states that if you have a term in this form a, e to the power of a, all right? If you apply the lambda w function to this, your answer will become a. Yes, as easy as that. So, that means that if we want to use this to get this, which is the only method we can use to get this, then we need to make sure that whatever it is, that is on the that is the coefficient of our e is also the power of e. Don't worry, I'm going to explain. You are going to understand the whole solution. Now look at what we have. Notice that we have x plus four here before three. Let at least make first of all let's make the power to be x plus four as well. Now remember that if you have a to the power of m, for you to get this to be a to the power of m plus n, okay, it's going to be a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n. So we have 3 to the power of x already. And what we want is 3 to the power of x plus 4. x plus 4, x plus 4, right? So that means what we have is 3 to the power of x multiplied by 3 to the power of 4. So that means that we are going to multiply this side, the left-hand side, by 3 to the power of 4. So to balance it up, we are going to multiply the right-hand side of the equation with 3 to the power of 4 as well. So that is exactly what we are going to do. So let's multiply through using 3 to the power of 4. So we have x plus 4, all right, multiply, raised, multiply by 3 to the power of 4, multiply by 3 to the power of x, multiply by 3 to the power of 4, okay, is equal to 1 multiplied by 3 to the power of 4. So we have x plus 4, 3, we pick one base, we add the powers, x plus 4, is equal to 3 to the power of 4. Now we have the same power as the coefficient, the same thing as our power and coefficient. But remember that in this, we have e here, okay? So how do we introduce e into what we just have? To introduce e, remember that e to the power of ln x is equal to x. Yes, e to the power of ln x is equal to x. That means e to the power of ln 3 to the power of x plus 4 will still give us e to the power of ln. It still give us 3 to the power of x plus 4, okay? So that is what we are going to write now. So we have x plus 4, then e to the power of ln 3 raised to the power of x plus 4. This e to the power of ln 3 stands for 3, okay? Remember that e to the power of ln a is equal to a. So e to the power of ln 3 is still equal to 3. Then the whole of this, which is 3 raised to the power of x plus 4, okay, is equal to 3 to the power of 4 is 81. Now, look at what we have. Remember that e to the power of a raised to the power of b is still equal to, equal to e to the power of a, b, all right, and you can also interchange since this is equal to e to the power of a times b, you can write this as e to the power of b raised to the power of a. It's still correct, okay? Let me face the other side. So that means that I will write this as x plus 4 e to the power of, let me bring this in and take this out, x plus 4 ln what? ln 3, right? is equal to 81. Now, if this is the first time you are seeing us, please click on the subscription button and turn your notification bell so that you don't miss our amazing videos. Always turn in at your convenience to watch our upload because we upload daily, two to three times daily. Yeah, thank you so much. All right, now let's continue. So look at what we have now. We notice that we have x plus 3 ln 3. That means the power now has changed as well. It has changed again. So remember that we have, we're supposed to have power and coefficient to be the same. So to make this coefficient to be like the power, we need to multiply the coefficient by ln 3 as well, right? So we are going to multiply through by ln 3. So if we do that, we have x plus 4, x plus 4 ln 3, bracket e, I don't know if you can still see this, e to the power of x plus 4, ln 3 as well, okay? All right, so is equal to ln 3 multiplied by 81. Don't worry, let me rewrite what we have here. So what we have here is x plus 4 
ln3 okay oh this is very small let me clean this let me clean here all right so this is what we have so i'll copy this thing where we are so we are at x plus 4 all right ln3 then e to the power of x plus 4 ln3 as well that is what we have right is equal to ln3 or it's 1 ln3 so we multiply both sides of this equation by ln3 so that we'll be able to get the same thing as our coefficient and as our power okay so when you look at this side of the equation notice that it is now in the form that we want it our coefficient and our power is the same but when you look at this side it's not the same yet so let's manipulate the left hand side as well to get the same thing just like what we have here then we apply the lambda w function to get the final result that's amazing right yes so let's do that now we have i'm going to be writing this is equal to because the left hand side is long i don't want to keep repeating it so this side is now equal to remember that 81 is same thing as 27 multiplied by 3 right so this can be written as 27 multiplied by 3 ln 3 okay now remember that when you have a ln b okay or anything a ln b this is equal to ln b raised to the power of a so this one can come up to become the power of b so if we do that that means we can write this as 27 ln 3 to the power of 3 this 3 will come up okay so this is equal to 27 ln 27 now we have the same thing here and here but remember that we need to introduce e yes remember so remember that e to the power of ln a is equal to a so that means that we can write this 27 as e to the power of ln 27 right that has covered this 27 then we have this ln 27 as well okay if this is the first time you are seeing us have you done this equation yet please do that now this is what we have e let's write this ln 27 first okay so we have ln 27 e ln 27 e ln27 okay this is equal to remember what we said is equal to this is equal to this now look at what we have our power now is the same thing as our coefficient so it's the right time to apply the lambda w function so if we say that the lambda w function of let's write the right hand side x plus 4 multiplied by ln3 e to the power of x plus 4 multiplied by ln3 right is equal to this ln 27e to the power of ln 27 as well now we are introducing the lambda w function to this side as well i'm sorry please manage the board for me okay now when we introduce the lambda w function remember that when you introduce the lambda w function in something like this a term in this form we are going to get a as the solution okay so that means that if we look at this the this lambda w function we introduced is going to give us for this it's going to give us x plus four ln 3 since that is what we have here and here now if we apply it to this side we are going to get ln 7 ln 7 right so it's going to be ln 27 sorry not 7 now we are looking for the value of x first let's transfer this ln 3 to the right hand side and to do that we need to divide both sides of this equation by ln 3 so we divide this side by ln 3 and divide this side by ln 3 now ln 3 we cancel out and we have x plus 4 is equal to ln now 27 is same thing as 3 to the power of 3 right divided by ln 3 we are going to prove that the answer we got is right so please stay tuned to that point because that is the most interesting aspect of this video trust me so we have x plus 4 is equal to this 3 we come down right to multiply our ln 3 over ln3 as well now ln3 we divide ln3 so what we now have is x plus 4 is equal to 3 and then finally finally we have what x plus 4 is equal to 3 so x is going to be 3 plus 4 we cross to become minus 4 so our x is equal to minus 1 wow now let's prove that the answer we got is actually correct okay so let us prove that the answer we got is right now look at the question the question says one over three to the power of minus one our x is minus one right is equal to minus one plus four now remember that when the power 
when your power is negative okay you take the inverse of the base to remove the negative sign so if i take the inverse of one over three the inverse of one over three is three over one three we go up and one we come down so we have three over one raised to the power of one i will now remove the negative sign is equal to four minus one which is three now three to the power of one is three and one to the power of one is one is equal to three and three divided by one is three so you can see that three is equal to three and that proves that the answer we got is right Thank you so much for watching. Bye.